Son of a bitch. Lego Marvel Superheroes. It's time to suit up and take to the skies with more superheroes and villains than you can shake a Lego brick at. An ambitious sandbox style Lego adventure with your favorite Marvel characters sounds amazing, but it doesn't take superpowers to find a glitch or two in this game. And man, these are some of the most fun, crazy, and laugh out loud funny glitches in a game already packed with humor. So let's kick things off aboard the heli carrier where we can easily get out of bounds. You can do this glitch fairly early in the game and you'll need a flying carrier character, so we'll use Iron Man. In the control room of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s helicarrier, if you fly up to this compartment-like area to the left side of the room, you can fly into this opening. Flying around inside here, you'll quickly realize you can go straight through this wall. No messing, no special setups, you can just fly straight through it without any resistance. It seems somebody forgot to close it off with any solid collision detection, and so now you're able to fly outside the inside of the helicarrier. You can view all the rooms at the same time from up here, and you'll also be able to see some of the menu icons used in the character creator. It's a really common thing in games for certain assets to be stored just outside of where they would be used, far enough off screen so the player doesn't see them, and yet here they are. In the PS4, Xbox One, Wii U, and PC versions, this wall is solid like it's meant to be, and so you're unable to just fly out of bounds. Which brings me nicely to the alternate method of getting this glitch. Sometimes, seemingly randomly, when you enter this side of the helicarrier, switching characters can put the secondary character on the other side of the control room load trigger. And moving towards the camera, you'll see this. And once again, you're able to fly out of bounds and explore. Now this is simple to do by accident, so simple in fact, I'm surprised they missed this during testing. On to the next simple glitch, and this one is pretty fun. Usually you're able to jump from the heli carrier and skydive down to New York City. Once you reach a certain distance from the ground, non-flying characters are equipped with a parachute that opens automatically, and they float safely down to the ground. Unless, of course, you play as Howard the Duck. All you have to do is jump from the helicarrier and press and hold the dive button all the way down towards the ground. Howard the Duck's parachute doesn't trigger for some reason until you reach about here, and <laughs> okay. Now the parachute stays open while you run around, which manages to look ridiculous and slightly impractical all at the same time. I guess at the very least it's like a portable parasol. Strangely, you won't be able to enter any vehicles with this glitch in effect, but you can easily switch characters to cancel the glitch and return to normal. I did manage to get this glitch to work on PS4, but I honestly don't know how, and I wasn't able to trigger it again except for this one time, so it does work, just not as easily as the PS3 or Xbox 360 version of the game. It's also worth noting that this glitch also works with Rocket Raccoon, so do with that what you will. Happy glitchy landings! In a world full of superheroes, sometimes you just want to be a normal, completely average LEGO person, and now you can fulfill that destiny with this amazingly simple glitch. You need to unlock Thor, who you get during the course of the game, and Classic Thor, who you can unlock with this cheat. As Classic Thor, charge up your hammer, and then simply change to the other Thor. Crazy, I know. You'll get this super long character transformation where the game seemingly gets confused, and then eventually, it'll just turn you into a citizen. Look at this guy, he's just so normal. Well, except that was pretty cool, I guess. As you'd expect, he doesn't fly and he doesn't have any abilities, unless having an old school Justin Bieber haircut is your superpower, then more power to you. Okay? Okay. Now again, I had trouble getting this one to trigger on PS4, but I found a surefire way of getting it to work on the newer gen consoles. Simply go to the helicarrier, charge up regular or classic Thor's hammer, and then take the elevator down to enter the helicarrier. Now head back up to the flight deck and then switch to the other Thor. Then you'll get the same long transformation and then regular guy. This glitch can also be performed with Green Goblin and Green Goblin Ultimate with the same results. So hey, go be normal for a bit, cause that's why we play games, right? To be regular everyday people. I'll tell you what's not regular and certainly not everyday, Mr. Fantastic. Well, more specifically, the future foundation version of Mr. Fantastic you can unlock in the game. So things seem ordinary at first, well, as ordinary as a man with an elastic body can be, but then you jump into a car or a bike. When you jump back off, immediately you got this arm running thing. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, but wait, it gets better. Let's go get ourselves a bicycle. 
Uh, something doesn't seem right with this picture. I know you're Mr. Fantastic, but your arms are a fantastic distance away from your body. Look, no hands. Out of my way, superhero business. We can take this glitch to the next level if we go to the character creator on the helicarrier. Create any character, but they must have Mr. Fantastic's abilities and naming them is optional. Seems appropriate. So this custom character looks completely normal until, ew, what is this? Kill it with fire. Turns out when you attack, the arms disappear completely, and if you jump inside any vehicle and then get out again, the arms are gone forever. Also, he has no face. This is just too perfect. I shall call him Glitch Boy. And when you use the glide ability, he turns into a regular Mr. Fantastic for a second. Wandering around New York, you may have found these remote control cars which feature in a mini game to get a gold brick. Usually, these RC cars are confined to a small area where the mini game takes place. But if you ram one into a barrier, you can then use a few more to push that first car over the barrier. Once the first one is on top of the barrier, if it's far enough over, you can jump on and drive out of the minigame. You're now free to drive it around the city, which is cool and all. The only problem is, when you reach a certain distance from the minigame, the RC car will disappear. Aw oh man, I was enjoying that. Another beautiful day in New York City. I, uh, hold, hold that thought for a second. Yeah. I thought as much. What on earth is happening over here? For some reason, everyone's going along just fine, and then they shoot up into the air. I have no idea what causes this, but it's definitely fun to watch. It turns out there are a ton of places in the game where NPCs just do the most glitchy things. For example, I found these three just hanging out up here by Grand Central Station. Maybe these guys all have superpowers too, who knows. This dude's superpower is the ability to move through the ground. Oh, wait, it's not that special. She can do it. Hey, I might be way off here, but I think you're doing it wrong. Okay, I'm gonna walk away from this one. Wherever you turn, something weird is happening. The other character got stuck on this wall, so he's freaking out trying to follow me. I mean, I don't know about you, but I could watch this all day. And the further away I went, the crazier it became. Somebody stop this thing. <laughs> Having trouble with your automobile? Is it damaged beyond all repair? Has it taken a hit from a superhero saving the day? Well, come on down to Super Mutants Auto Repair. We'll fix up your sorry looking personal transportation for all your travel needs. Is your vehicle in pieces all over the roads? Well, sorry about that. We only deal in nearly destroyed automobiles. Super Mutants Auto Repair. We put the care in repair. So it seems Wolverine, Beast, and any other Claude characters in the game can seemingly repair cars for no reason. So that's cool. All you have to do is lock onto the vehicle, and then instead of breaking it down, they build it back up again. Strange. Here's an interesting glitch that puts you under the map of New York. For this glitch, you'll need the Hydra tank and preferably a flying character. Then you just need to drive up against any solid wall. You then need to exit the tank and then jump into the higher turret section, and fire off some rockets until the Hydra tank explodes. Once the tank is destroyed, it'll fall through the ground and then you need to jump out of the hydra tank. This now puts you under New York and now you can fly around underneath the city. This will also allow you to cross over to the other side of the bridge where you're usually restricted by an invisible wall. If you fly low enough under the map by the bridge, you can reach a very low polygon, low res textured backdrop of New York, somewhere you're never intended to reach. Welcome to Lego Marvel Super Heroes Nintendo 64 edition. If you fly out far enough, the game will become blank with the map disappearing too. Don't panic, just simply head back the way you came and you'll see New York load back into view. If you fly directly downwards under Central Park, you'll eventually reach the interior of the helicarrier, which is located on the same map as New York, so that's pretty cool. This glitch is also handy for reaching gold bricks in places you'd perhaps need to have finished the game or have the right characters unlocked to get, so this glitch is useful in some respects. Also, this game is so well made, there's an even simpler way to get under the map. Just head to this storefront by the scrapyard area of New York where you'll see this gold wall, it's hard to miss. Now just go towards the store and you'll fall through the ground and now you're under the map. Wow, how did they miss that? Yet another way to get under the map is with the character Super Scroll. When playing as Super Scroll, you may notice when you get next to a vehicle, two options appear at the same time. For instance, on PS3 you'll see a circle and a triangle. Well, in version 1.1 of the game, pressing circle and then triangle immediately afterwards make Super Scroll do this. He tries to enter the car at the same time he picks it up, and so the game just kind of freaks out, and for some reason, you always end up going under the map. By exiting the vehicle, you can return the game to normal. 
well, almost. The vehicle will now be stuck to Super Scroll wherever you fly. This glitch is just insane to watch. Look at that bus fly. Here's another equally ridiculous looking glitch. Play as Venom and then enter a flying vehicle aboard the helicarrier. Now all you need to do is exit the vehicle while it's in flight and then this will happen. You'll have a big character awkwardly placed inside a Quinjet or whatever they're flying. It'll keep flying as expected but Venom will be stuck in his walking animation so you get this visual goodness. I love this game. If you've been busy completing the game 100% you'll probably have rescued Stan Lee more than a few times. After saving him 50 times Times, he becomes an unlockable character and we can perform another fun glitch. Play as Stan Lee and then go to the helicarrier. Take the elevator down to the control room and as you're heading downwards, change Stan Lee into the Hulk version. During his change, the control room will load and now you'll have Stan Lee half transformed into the Hulk so he'll be regular size, just more green. This is merely a visual glitch as he behaves the same as ever, but now we all know your secret, Stan, although we probably shouldn't make him angry. And now for my all-time favorite glitch in the game. It's possible to be any vehicle in the game. No, I don't mean drive or unlock, I mean be that vehicle. For this, you need to be in two player mode and one player should go to one of the blue vehicle stations around the city and the other player needs to open up the map and choose an area to travel to. With one player highlighting the vehicles menu and the other one highlighting the green tick for the travel to area on screen, both now need to select them at the same time. If done correctly, the vehicles menu will now open in an unintended way and now you can select whichever vehicle you'd like to be. So I chose to be a police car and now my character has turned into a police car. I'm not entirely sure what causes this but I'm not sure I care because this glitch is amazing. The game thinks you're still a character and not a car so this means you can be a car driving a car or a car driving a bus or a bus driving a car or a bus driving a bus. Although this one didn't work out too well as for some reason you're unable to move now so yeah. You still have the hitbox of a normal character so ramming into things won't destroy them as you'd expect. The other player can also drive you too so that's weird. But this glitch isn't just limited to land vehicles, you can do it with boats and planes too. So now you can have a boat on land that can also drive a car. Now this is how you get around in style. When I tried to get the boat to drive the bus, this happened. So maybe, maybe don't do that. Because I fell through the map and the helicarrier interior is just under where I fell, I managed to get the boat inside the helicarrier, but it wouldn't go through the doors. If you've ever wanted to see a boat skydiving, this is your lucky day. Coming in for landing, it's a perfect 10. Again, you can do this same glitch with planes and helicopters, but they mostly just take up the whole screen. But you have to agree, this looks amazing. This glitch is easily one of the most fun in the game and it's really easy to pull off. And who knows what crazy things will happen. But that wraps this episode up with some amazing glitches you can try out in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. And if you like this episode, hit that like button, share it with everyone you know and love, but most importantly, please subscribe if you want to see more from the series. Head over to the Facebook page for the show. I post updates and sneak peeks to upcoming episodes and keep you guys in the know about all things Son of a Glitch. Or you can follow me on Twitter and keep updated that way, you know, if you want to. 